The Liebherr LR1280 is designed to assemble the Derrick mast with the crane's self-assembly feature. The complete assembly procedure does not require an assist crane. The Derrick mast is attached to the same pin which holds the floating mast. To accept the Derrick mast, the pins need to be turned first. Because the pin should turn in the bushing of the upper structure, which can be greased, it needs to be brought into a position so that it is held with the Derrick mast in a fixed position. Turn off the hydraulic oil to self-erect cylinders. Starting with the standard crane page, push the F4 button to change to the configuration page. Here push the F7 button until the desired crane mode is displayed, in this case mode 6. Push the F8 button to confirm the selection and now the system calculates the load chart. Push the F1 button to go back to the crane page. Select the function Derrick Winch. After full assembly of the Derrick mast, the outer bale is hung from the Derrick mast top. The Derrick rope is reeved with the help of the nylon rope, which stays there during transport. This procedure avoids time-consuming reeving by hand. Make sure that all pendant straps and rope guards are installed before raising the Derrick mast. The Derrick mast can be raised up to 120 degrees and serves as a regular boom in the following assembly procedures. The outer bale is used as a hook block. Assembly of the main boom is easily done using the crane with the derrick mast as a boom. Of course, an auxiliary crane would speed up the assembly of the crane, being able to perform two tasks at the same time. Make sure to attach the rigging in such a way that the boom butt will be lifted and that the derrick mast is sufficiently low so that it is not stopped with the limit switch when booming up. To attach the main boom to the crane, the derrick mast lifts the main boom to the level of the boom hinges and walks the crane into the boom butt. While raising the derrick mast, the operator powers the derrick winch down so that the derrick mast is held by the boom. With the main boom attached, the derrick mast is first raised until the limit switch stops the mast at 120 degrees. Then continue to raise the derrick mast and stay on this button to pass the limit switch. Finally, the boom backstops rest on the pins of the upper structure until it arrives at the working position of 62 degrees. Another limit switch makes sure that the derrick mast stops automatically at the correct position of 62 degrees. Now the main boom can be raised if the length allows self-erect without the enhancement counterweight attached. This is possible with all configurations which can be self-erected without derrick mast. Longer configurations require the derrick counterweight attached before the boom is lifted from the ground. 